Hello, everyone! And the chickens are there, right on cue. So, today I'm gonna talk about one of my addictions slash obsessions. It's been this way for like the past eight years. I don't know how to start, I don't know how to do this, but um, I think it's time for me to admit that I have a problem. This feels like an episode of my strange addiction. So, I actually have this addiction slash slash fascination. It's better if I just if I just blurt it out, if I just be be completely candid and honest about it. Chickens do not destroy my moment! Do not ruin my moment! And I am addicted to Wicked, the Broadway musical. It's been shown in several countries all around the world. Oh god, I'm gonna look so stupid and crazy for doing this. Yeah, so I've been addicted to Wicked for like the past eight years. Back in 2008, I think? 2007 or 2008, not exactly sure. Uh, I discovered Wicked, which by the time should have been in its fifth year. I was already obsessed with Wicked on its fifth year. So yeah, it might have been 2007. Actually, I discovered the soundtrack first. And I listened to the soundtrack a lot. I started listening to, to, the, to the whole thing, to the whole album. And I remember it was around the point of Defying Gravity that I really started to understand the story and, and the meanings of the songs. I was like, ooh, this sounds really interesting. It, it, it's, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. I looked for a copy of the musical, and I did, and I watched the whole thing, and that's kind of how my obsession with Wicked started. Back in 2012, uh, my mom wanted to go to Singapore for her birthday, and as luck would have it, the Australian tour of Wicked was in Singapore at that time. So, and my mom actually knew this, she said, you only want to go to Singapore because you're gonna watch Wicked, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna lie about that, everyone knows how crazy I am about Wicked. And that was like the, one of the best moments of my life, which I find a bit sad, but also happy. So over the years I managed to collect a, a few Wicked related merchandise stuff. So I have this, the thing I showed you guys earlier. It's actually a booklet from uh, from when they showed Wicked here in in the Philippines. Yeah, they actually brought it here. I should have started with that. So in total, or to date, I've watched Wicked four times live. Once in Singapore at the Marina Bay Sands and the production actually came here last year. I watched it three times. It's funny because on, on the third time that I watched it, uh, I remember going out during intermission for a break, and I heard someone yelling my name. I thought, mm, maybe it's some other Anton, and it wouldn't stop. I turn around, I saw one of my friends, <laughs> and he yelled at me, How many times have you watched this show? And everyone was looking at me, and I felt like they thought I was crazy. And I also felt that I was crazy, even though I know I'm, I am kind of crazy. But I don't care. I don't care. I love Wicked. It makes me happy! So, living in this part of the world, it's actually hard to get official Wicked merchandise. But every now and then, the heavens would be kind enough to find a way for me to get my hands on something. I have all four books. Any Wicked fan would know that the books really have nothing to do with the musical. Well, they're kind of similar, but not really. The musical ends happily, the books not really. I have keychains. This one I got from Singapore. This one I got, dur oops, I got during the Philippines production. I put it together with my car keys to always remind me that I am Wicked. Okay, I have one shirt with the, like the regular Wicked logo. And I have one with there. And I had this made. It says, I think I'll try Defying Gravity. Oh, jackets. Which is ironic since it's unbelievably hot here. In this damn country. I bought this in Singapore. And it has Oz at the back. I wore this to work once. And an office mate of mine looked at me. Look, saw this. And said, it suits you. It perfectly describes you. And I said, I'm gonna take that as a compliment. And then he said, yeah, I meant it that way. I'm like, oh, 
This one actually came from the London production. Oh, I still have to pay for this. <laughs> I asked one of my friends to buy it for me in London and I haven't paid him back yet. I really need to get in touch with him to pay him back. And it has a hole here for... Where is it? There's a hole here. There. It has a hole for your iPod or... Whatever. What other thing? Oh! The poster at the back. The poster was cheaper than the frame. But it's fine because it's Wicked, and I love Wicked. It's one of the few things I would gladly spend my money on. Oh, and not just that. What kind of self-respecting fan wouldn't have the soundtrack on their iPod? Spotify. Older iPod. With different versions of Defying Gravity. Is that focusing? I don't know if y'all can see it, but... Yeah. Yeah. So that is my obsession with Wicked and what other people around me have to deal with when I start blabbing about the show. When I randomly coat the musical, or when I suddenly burst out in song, dancing through life, something has changed within me, something is not the same. Tell them how I am defying gravity. I'm insane. So if you like the musical, the book, whatever, leave a comment below and let me know. And let's have a discussion about it because I love talking about Wicked, especially with Wicked fans who would actually understand the kind of effect it has on people. It's such an amazing show. <laughs> so if you like the video, if you think I'm crazy, give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more crazy shit that I do. Hit the subscribe button below and give me a thumbs up.